Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Hayden Mott. I'm an earth scientist and a geocommunicator, which means I love to do outreach with the public. It gives me a lot of satisfaction. And that is one, I can see it's changed people's lives. What I find is that people get in touch with me after seeing my content on YouTube or on Instagram, and they actually tell me how it's given them kind of rose tinted glasses. And they look at the world in, in new and fascinating ways. And that means that it's actually literally changed their behavior patterns because they actually feel intertwined and invested and emotionally connected with the planet, with the processes of the planet, with you know the health of the planet. And that is so, so important. If we can change society to give them that ability to see the world like that, well, I think it's a huge, huge gift. The second reason I do outreach is because we are at a critical transition period right now to net zero. We have the 17 UN sustainability goals we must reach in order to combat climate change. There's a big problem because there are not enough earth scientists going to study earth sciences at university. And that means there's not enough earth scientists going into industry and we need carbon capture and storage, rare earth elements, we need geothermal and a whole bunch of other stuff necessary to reach net zero. So if we don't have the talent, we don't have the manpower, we don't have the geosciences to make it happen, we are in trouble. Yeah? So we need to inspire the public to get their children and inspire the children to choose earth sciences at university. And that means creating more geoscience ambassadors around the world. My one piece of advice that I would give anybody considering doing geoscience outreach is forget about what you are interested in. What you're interested in is kind of irrelevant. What is most interesting and most relevant is what the audience is interested in. And that's what I've been doing and taking to the extreme in my public outreach over the past five, six years. I geologize stuff. So I'll geologize stuff that people care about, people are interested in. It could be anything, right? It could be English literature. It could be, it could be roundabouts at a playground. It could, it could be politicians. It could be love. It could be hobbies. It could be anything. Think about the diversity of things that people are interested in. Choose one of those things and then geologize it and make it interesting to the person. So that way, the geoscience content that I am introducing goes through the back door of what people are interested in. And that creates the emotional resonance. That makes people feel this is relevant to me. I need to be paying attention to this. Remember that communication is two way. We're at university, we do a lot of seminars, a lot of lectures. It's one way communication. Never do that. Listen, understand what the audience wants to know and then deliver your content through that vector. Do it that way, it's way, way uh, more effective. The last thing I would say is that there is some fantastic work being done by Jew communicators in this country and around the world. The problem is there's not enough of us doing it, okay? So the reasons I've described before, we need more Jew communicators. That is the way that we're gonna inspire more people to choose geoscience at university and go on to have a career in these critical subjects. I want academics and industry leaders to understand that geoscience outreach is not something that's just noble but unnecessary and it's something critical that needs to be done otherwise we don't reach the UN sustainability goals, we don't get to net zero. Uh, I hope this has been of some interest to you and helping you get going in your geocommunication career or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, take care. Bye for now.